Hi, I'm Carol Wilson, Editor-at-Large for Light Reading, and I'm here with Josh Goodell, the Vice President for the Intelligent Edge at AT&T. Welcome, Josh. Thank you. So the Intelligent Edge, what does that mean in AT&T's world? So the Intelligent Edge is really about extending AT&T's intelligent network value proposition to the customer premise. Okay, and that's where Flexware really comes in, correct? Yeah. So Flexware, if we think of the natural evolution, we've gone from physical to virtual on the premise and then virtual to intelligent. And I'd say right now, you know, the, the last stage has been getting to virtual, which is what we all know Flexware has been. And we've been in the market for about 12 months, had a lot of success, but there's more evolving down the road. So we're excited about it. and excited enough about it that I've named my, my entire organization around that next step in the evolution. Wow, okay. So when you talk about what's down the road, can you give us any peeks at what might be coming? Yeah, so when I think about intelligence as that next step, there are a few different elements to that. One, I think, you know, policy-based intelligence at an application level. Okay. And so if you think about traditional SD-WAN, that's core to that value proposition. Right. And so Flexware will evolve to be an enabler of our network-based SD-WAN capabilities, which will be commercially available in the first quarter of 2018. Okay. And it's a really, uh, it's a great marriage of an intelligent edge and an intelligent network. Um, and so it's the first time that those two will really come together in a very unique way. And I think it will be differentiated in the market. Um, other elements I think of intelligent edge that I think about is it's not just the customer premise that we think about. The reality is that most customers have got workloads that are in the cloud and on premise. Right. In fact, I believe it's approximately 75% of the applications are currently being you know, managed in the cloud. That much? Or, or well, I didn't realize that, okay. And so we're blurring the lines between the premise and the cloud. And so the ability to securely access workloads in either location is part of what we are tackling with the Intelligent Edge. Okay, so we're here at MEF 17, and um, I, I noticed you were, you were part of the MEF 3.0 announcement. Uh, right. How, what role does MEF 3.0 and some of the things you're talking about there with common APIs and common service definitions, how does that impact or enable what, what you're attempting to do with the Intelligent Edge? Yeah, so, so first of all, a little plug for, for MEF. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, um, I've been a part of, or at least I've participated in MEF, I'm not a member per se, but I've been participating for three years. And one of my observations is that the group is a pragmatic bunch. Mm -hmm. And that's really important when you're bringing together, you know, different carriers, different vendors. It's a very diverse ecosystem of, of uh, participants at MEF. And one of the things I talked about last year was the need for industry standardization around certain issues. And I had three issues that I said. One of which was SDN federation between networks right. and the ability to really have a global uh, fabric across geographies that really takes advantage of that SDN value proposition. And up to this point, it's, we know it's technically possible, but we, we really haven't had the, the, the focus to do it. Okay. So I put the stake down um, at, at this event last year, and it's amazing to see the progress that has been made by, by MEF, and, and LSOs help enable this. And between partners like Orange and Colt and AT&T and Amdocs and others, we've gone from you know, a stake in the ground to working you know, networks that actually are making this a reality. And I assume going forward, you hope to see more similar type things where it becomes easier to interconnect uh, you know, east-west, as we say, not just north-south, and that becomes a, a platform for innovation for you? Right. It just extends the overall intelligent network value proposition globally. Okay. You know, on the, on the Flexware edge, you know, we've been very thoughtful about ensuring that's a global solution. It's available in 200 countries. Okay. But access isn't always dynamic globally. It's not right now. It's really going to be dependent on whoever your access provider is. So you think about the marriage of those two, mm -hmm. and I think it's a very powerful combination for the industry and for our customers. Okay. All right, great. Josh, thanks for being here. Sure, thank you.